drafts, no code solution that allows you to set up your own templates and contract input forms. This video is a quick run through of DraftMate's basic features. First, I'll show you a live template and then show you how we can easily set something like this up. Let's get started. A template workflow is a set of questions, data inputs that generates a set of documents. This is what an end user will see. And these could be either people from your own organization or people outside your organization, which is generally the counterparty. Let's quickly pick some things and give an input. Say, what's the platform fee per calendar month? Dollars. The example that I've chosen is of a platform service order. And this is something that we'll also use to set up a template. Uh, if you notice, there are questions that become visible based on input to some questions. These are questions who have some logic defined and you can even set these questions up, right? So there are certain questions that can be made visible only if inputs to other questions match to some value. We'll, we'll learn more about this as we learn to set up. Now let's see how easy it is to set this up. Go to your workspace, head to settings, and you will see the contract settings page. This is where you can go and create a new contract type. Let's say we call it as the platform service order form. I can choose, uh, you know, to assign uh, who can create using this template, who can view these templates, who can suggest to these templates. I'm currently the admin, so I'm going to skip this piece. I can also pick signatories, which I'm going to skip right now. This can be added later on. Right. So now our platform service order template is ready to be created. It has two parts. One is the document upload and the other is the questionnaire. Now the questionnaire can be created for your own company that your teammates will answer or, you know, a certain set of questions can also be given to the counterparty which they will answer and the inputs of these responses to these questions are going to sit in the document when you generate a contract from this template. Let's quickly set some questions up. So questionnaire, as you noticed in the previous thing, can be organized into different sections, right? This is done so that it's easy uh, for you to segregate logically, um, logical piece of questions together. And let me just create a section here called service order details. Now I can organize questions within this. So let me click quickly create a question, All right? Let's create a question called select package type. And let me call the variable as package name. Now let's quickly understand what a variable name is. Variable name is a unique name that you need to identify this question with. This is something that you'll use across the template workflow, as well as if you're integrating with platforms like Salesforce, HubSpot, you will be able to use this variable name there as well, right? Now this select the package type is of type dropdown. We, we support over 13 data types today, variable types, and we keep, we'll keep introducing more. This is basically done to give a better experience to the end users as well as validate so that the inputs are right. Let me quickly fill this with some information and that's it. So your first question is ready. Let me create a few more questions and show you how the other bits of the question work. Second question would be what is the platform fee per calendar month? This would be called let's say let's call it as platform fee list price this is a currency field right i'm going to create this question as well let me create a few more is discount fee applicable on this discount applicable and this is going to be a yes or no question Right. Now, if the discount fee is applicable, I would like to know what is the discounted fee, right? 
which is basically the sales price. What is the discounted platform fee? I'm going to call this as sales price. And this is also going to be a currency field. Now, this is where the interesting bit happens because I want to ask this question only if the response to the previous question, which is, is discount on the platform fee applicable? If it's true, only then I want to ask this question. So it's as simple as going to the previous question and picking the discount applicable field and saying if it is equal to yes, only then show this question. I can go and mark this as created. Let me also go create the last couple of questions. Let's ask for another yes or no question. Is a platform fee waiver applicable? This is going to be called as waiver applicable. And I'm going to call this also a yes or no question. Right. If waiver is applicable, I think the next logical question would be as to till when is the waiver applicable, right? So I'm going to pick say what is what will be the end date of the waiver? I will call this variable as waiver underscore end date. And this is also going to be a date field, right? But even here, logic would be important because only if waiver is applicable, that's when I want to show this question, right? So I'm going to go to that waiver applicable field. If it is equal to yes, only then am I going to show this question. We have now created the set of questions that need to be answered by members of your company. It could be anyone from the sales team or the legal team. All right, let's just go back now. Um, there is also a question that we can create for the counterparty, which is say, let's go and set it up. Say customer info. I will ask a question, say, what is your shop ID? Right, it's going to be called shop underscore ID. And I will call this as a short answer question because I'm expecting alphanumerical input into this. All right, great. So we do have a question now, questionnaire now for your own company as well as the counterparty. Now, the next step is actually to prepare a document. Now, that document has to be the smart document. And that's where DraftMate comes in to help you code this document without having any knowledge of the coding. Now that we have set up the questionnaire, the next step is actually to tag the document. And this is where we'll use the help of the Spot Drafts plugin DraftMate. The first step to use DraftMate is basically to install it. You can open your Microsoft Word, click on insert, hit on get add-ins, and you can install DraftMate from the Microsoft Store. Once you install it, it's going to appear right here and you can fire up DraftMate by just clicking on it. You can hit on get started. You'll be asked to enter your credentials, uh, spot draft credentials that you have for your workspace. You can use them and then you'll be shown the list of templates. So platform service order is what we just created. Uh, so we are going to click on it and we will create We'll start tagging the document right now. So we can do a bunch of things using DraftMate. I'm quick, let me quickly take you through each of them. Uh, one is the insertion of simple variable. Simple variables are basically what we use to create questions. Every question is linked to a variable. The second part is creating a new variable. Uh, assume we forgot to create a question. We don't really have to go back to the questionnaire, create a question and then come back here. We can just create a new, able, a new variable from right here and que create questions for it later on. The third is the conditional statements where say you want to show a particular clause only if another condition is met. You can, we can do that from here. Uh, the next is signature block, which is, I think a very important component of every, every contract where, uh, you know, you can pick the kind of fields that you want to have in the signature block. And this is going to be compatible with, uh, spot drafts, uh, e-sign module as well. So let's start by inserting some simple variables. So when, as soon as you select simple variable, you will see a bunch of variables here. So these are the variables that we just created package type platform field is discount applicable. Along with that, you will also see a few others. These are out of the box that spot Draft provides, which is basically contractor name, which is your company's name, the subscriber name, subscriber address, etc. Right. 
So now I'm seeing this as counterparty name. So let me just start by tagging it. Subscriber name is what we call it in Spot Draft. Um, you can go ahead and insert this variable here, right? Next, I see shop ID. Let me also insert shop ID here. I also have a package type that I can do, which I'm going to show now, right? There's also a platform list price. Let's just do that as well. And let's, we have, I see a couple of other ones, platform fee sales price, which we have called a sales price, insert that as well. And there is also a platform fee end date, right? Paver end date. Let me just pick this as well. You just need to select the part where you want it inserted. I'm gonna insert it, right? You can do all the formatting that Word supports here so that your document is clean. Uh, we'll stop at this here in terms of inserting the simple variables. Uh, I will move on to the next part. Uh, uh, before that, I would like to also show how you can format. Let's say the subscriber name uh, is something that I want to show in capital letters, right? So I can just select a format for that as well. Say I want to show all of the subscriber name in uppercase, right? I can just do that and it's going to show up in uppercase when the document is finally rendered let me quickly move to conditional statements now where the special promotion flat discount fee is something that is only applicable if uh, discount applicable field is true so i'm going to make this as discount applicable equal to true it's going to show up there is also let's see even if waiver is applicable on this account only then this needs to show up, right? So as simple as that, we, our document is now ready to be uploaded. We can go ahead and save this document. And the next step is to actually go back to workspace and upload this. Now that we have a tag document ready, all we need to do is upload it to the doc, upload it to your workspace, to the template. Let's go ahead, pick that file. I'm going to go to that, pick up a file and upload it. If there are any errors in your document that has happened when you're creating the tagging, it's, it's something that is going to throw up as an error here and you can fix it and re-upload uh, a new document. So even in terms of maintenance of this template, it's fairly simple. You can just go ahead, edit your questionnaire, add a new question, remove a question, if you want to make some text changes to your document, all you need to do is click on this, download the file, make the required changes and hit on re-upload. And your, your document, your template is now ready. So once your template is ready, all you need to do is hit on publish and you can go, and it's now available for the rest of your team to create contracts using this template. So I'm just gonna hit on new workflow, create a new contract, I'm going to see platform service order now. Let me quickly pick a couple of things here. You also pick a counterparty. And now you will see the questions that we just created. Yes. So I'm going to pick a pack package name. I'm also going to mix 200, 2000 Indian rupees. I, I can make it to any dollar. I can also set default values for each of these from the settings of these questions. I'm going to make it if count is applicable. I'm also going to say it's 200 US dollars, right? It's as simple as that. I can just go ahead and preview this contract now. And you'll see that values that were available have pre been pre-filled shop ids if you remember is a counterparty question so once this questionnaire goes to the counterparty that's when they're going to see it and answer and then these values are going to be filled so if you notice this condition is now visible because we marked it as yes well the next condition which we added a condition for is still marked as no and that's why it's not visible so it's that simple to create even a simple or a complex template you need not have multiple copies of the same template. You can easily create it within one single template just using DraftMate.